Okay, so let's look at question number four. And this is a, a little bit of a different question because what we're asked to find are the miss, missing dimensions here in the case of two similar figures. So similar figures means that we have two shapes which are related to each other by a scale factor. So they're not two separate shapes um, per se. They are essentially uh, either a small shape and then a large shape um, that has been scaled up. So let's take a look at how we can identify those shapes first and then develop the scale factor for them. So in the first question here, um, we're going to look at marking out where, where is the, ob the obvious um, similar shape. So the first one here is the small trapezoid that we see here. So I'm just going to sort of ink this in in blue. This is going to be our base trapezoid or one of the shapes that we're looking at. And then the second one is the, where is the similar um, trapezoid that is scaled up? So the second trapezoid here is the larger object. So it's, I'm just going to put a, an outline around it. But it is this one here where it's, it incorporates the small one, but it's scaled up because we have the larger dimensions to it. Okay, so the green is the big one, and then the blue is the small one. Okay, it's not the the trap the second trapezoid isn't the bottom piece below that small one because that's not similar to the to the first one. The similar shape is the one that's enlarged. Okay, so let's just make a note of that here. So we have to find um, two similar, which means scaled um, shapes. Okay, so that's the, that's the important thing here. So then the next thing we can do is look at developing a scale. So if we do our scale, we can do large to small or small to large. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to do here small to large. Okay, so we're going to go from the small shape um, to the large shape. Now the only problem with this here is that we don't we have to generate a value for the scale. Okay? And unfortunately there are two unknown variables here. We have an x and we have a y. So we can't compare the x to the 10 because we can't get a number. Um, and then the y is part of um, the longer leg on that side. So the only two numbers here that we can actually work with in order to build the scale are the 4 and the 2. Okay, so let's just go through and think about this here. So the small length on the trapezoid is a unit of 4. And then what is the large length on the green trapezoid? So the green trapezoid in this case here has a large length of 4 plus 2. Okay, it's the combination of the short plus the extra bit that makes the, the second one bigger. So this is going to give us a scale factor of 4 over 6 or 2 thirds. Okay, so that means for every 2 small units we have 3 larger units. Okay, so from this we can start to generate a couple of equations here. So we need to find x. So that's going to be our first thing we're going to do. So our equation or our ratio that we're going to equal to the scale is can we can say for every 10 units of small, um, the small length on the blue trapezoid, okay, we have x units on the green length. Okay, so that means the 10 is going with the small one and the x is going with the large one. So we can make that equal to our scale factor here of 2 over 3. Because remember, the 2 is the small side, or the small length, and the 3 is the large length. So that's one equation that we can look to solve. Okay, and if we cross multiply, we should get 2x is equal to 30, and then x is equal to 15. So that means x would be 15 in that length there. The second equation that we have to look at here is going to work out the sim similar way. We have six units for the small, that's the blue side. Okay, so I'm going to put down a six. And then the length of the green, okay, is not just y, but it is six plus y. So that is again equal to small over large, so two over three. So in this case, we can do a cross multiplication. So we'll do three times six, which is 18. And then two times six, which is 12. And then two times y, which is two y. So we have a little bit, it's a little bit more complicated because we have y in the denominator here. 
but then when we move the terms around, we should get six is equal to two y, okay, or y is equal to three. Then that means that missing length there is three on that green piece for that green trapezoid. And our the total length would be six plus three, which would be equal to nine. But just that little chunk there itself is three. Okay, so that's how we would look at question 4a. Now let's look at the second shape here. So again, um, in this, is a, this is a series of triangles. Okay, they are like equilateral triangles. So we need to look at where are the similar triangles. Okay, so I'm going to put these into two different colors here. So we'll go back to blue for one. So the first one that's really easy to see is this top one here. That's an equilateral triangle. So I'm just going to mark that in blue. And we know that the sides of this triangle are three units, okay, indicated by the, the little um, tick marks, which tell us that each side is equal to each other. So we know that one is three. Now we need to know is where is the next similar triangle? Okay, and the one that we have to focus on is the one that contains the letter X here, because that's the one we're having to solve. So the next similar triangle here is going to be another equilateral triangle, but it's going to be a little bit bigger in shape. So it's this one right here. Okay, so these two are related because they are similar um, in, in shape and they're scaled in sizes. Okay, and if we look at it, the base of this triangle is, is, is just two times bigger than the base of that other one. Okay, so we need to look at our scale calculation here. So we can do again, small to large. Okay, so we know the small base on the blue triangle is three. And we know the large base on the green triangle is going to be two of those three units. So it's three plus three which is going to give us three over six or one half. So that is our scale factor. For every one unit of small, we have three units of, of uh, two units um, on the larger one. So to find X, okay, all we need to do is do our equation. So we can do um, small to large. Okay, so we know the, the side that's blue here is three. Now X is just referred to as the side of this triangle. Um, it's not x plus 3 because that isn't the, the bigger one. Um, and remember, the two triangles have to be similar. So this, 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 these are the two similar ones here. So this is just going to be 3 over x, which is the large one. And that's equal to our ratio of 1 to 2. One small for every two large. So solving for x, we're just going to cross multiply. So x comes to the top. And that's just going to be equal to 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So the missing unit on that one there is 6. Okay, But the key is that we have to identify what are the two similar triangles. Okay, Now notice this is different than the first question in A is because the two triangles aren't um, embedded into each other. They're both separate. So this is why we don't go 3 plus x. It's just x by itself. All right, and then let's look at our last question here. We need to find again where are the similar shapes. Okay, where are the similar shapes. Okay, and so what are the shapes that we're looking at here again? Well, we're trying to find the missing sides. So we're actually looking here at sides A and B, and then we have a three here. So we have a triangle here that is our first shape. Okay, so this is our blue triangle right here. And then it's similar to the triangle that is um, scaled around it. Okay, so remember, it's not a, uh, we have to look for a triangle that is similar by being virtue of the scale. So that is going to be this outside triangle right here. So I'll change that to green and I'll sketch that in here. Okay, so this is going to be this right here and then this one down to here. So we have the blue on the inside and then we have the green on the outside. All right, so let's just work with that to find our scale. So again, we can do small to large. So small over large. 
So our small side, and now we need, we need to figure out a scale factor here. So the only, we can't use the A's and the B's yet because those are unknowns and we won't be able to build our, our, our sizes of the triangles. But we, only, we do only know two values here. We know the three and the four. So the small side for the small triangle is three and the large side is going to be three plus four. So that is going to be three over seven. That is what our scale factor is. Okay, and now if we're gonna go find out what the missing sides are, our first equation, okay, we can look at A. Um, so we can say that the small side here is A and the large side is 16. So that is A over 16 and then that is equal to our scale, which again has gotta be small to large, which is three over seven. Okay, that's one equation. And then our second equation here is going to be our small side, which is going to be um, B. Okay, and then our large side is the, the, the large green line, which also includes B. So that is B plus six, and that is also equal to three over seven, because it's, again, we're going small to large. So when we solve for this, in our first equation here, A is going to be, um, 3 times 16, which is 48, and then we have to divide by 7 because it would be 7a is equal to 48, so we divide that by 7. So a is going to be 48 over 7 units. That's the length of that small side. And 2, we have to solve for b. Um, we're solving for the small side of the here again. So this is going to be 7b is equal to 3b plus 18. Um, which is going to give us 4b is equal to 18. So b is going to be 18 over 4 or 9 over 2. So that means the short side for b is going to be 9 over 2 units. Okay, so this is how you do those questions. Um, it's a little bit tricky because you do have to figure out what are the similar shapes, and that is the key in order to understanding how to build the scale properly.